时候。Stayed up I spent late. the night for the indictment. I'm so tired. Go ahead then. I'll go back yeah. to work. Zicha? <laughs> Why are you here again? I have a meeting with my friend. Uh, it's almost empty here. Good. It's good for me to have a talk in here. Huh? <laughs> Hello. Americana, Hello. please. <laughs> All right. Would that Who's be all, that? sir? Who else? The one I hate the most. Please can your QR code here. He's Chen Chen's boyfriend? <laughs> He doesn't look so bad, and not a pervert like you said. Not that bad? Are you blind? He's not bad? <laughs> then what kind of guy do you think Jan Jan should like? Why does she need a boyfriend? No, I mean she's not at that age now. She's still young. She should focus and work. You mean she doesn't need people to accompany her? Some are like that. Ling Xiao and I will be with her. Why are you staring? You didn't have a girlfriend abroad, right? Are you kidding me? How could I have time for that? Not a single girl. Don't have time to like anyone. You just waited to see Jian Jian? Yes. That's why. But why? Explain it to me. You? Like your sister. How could I like Don't her? Don't deny it. Okay. Do you think about your sister all the time? Is she a part of your future plans and only her? No one else except her? Screw you, that's different. Why is it different? I think it's great. If you marry Jan Jan, you'll be in the same household register. You really should not limit yourself. Think about it the other way. Are all your important decisions in life purely motivated? What decisions that are purely motivated? I'm just doing everything for her good. This is very interesting. You grew up together, now you're going to marry each other. That's your life orientation. Why are you so talkative? You just keep working on your indictment. <laughs> keep writing and shut up. Annoying. Hi. Zicho. Yes. Has Ling Xiao contacted you today? Well, no. He didn't answer my calls or my messages. What happened to him? Uh, I don't know. I'll go take a shower now. Do you think about your sister all the time? Is she a part of your future plans and only her? No one else except her? You? Like your sister. Uh, I, 
I'll get dressed first. Uh... Isn't that Ling Xiao's... What? Do you think that Ling Xiao broke his cell phone? It can't be that coincidental. He even asked for days off, right? He said I'll come back tomorrow afternoon. Then why didn't he send me replies? He should have time for that. Maybe because it's not that convenient. What's more, he has to deal with his mom and his sister, right? What if he fails? If he fails with his temper, he would swim back here. Mm. Mm. Can I have some? Oh. Mm. Hey, that's my spoon! Whatever. I'll get another one. You despise me? Mmm! I don't want your saliva! eaten anything. You have a bad stomach. You still care about me? If you die, what about her? That's great. Take her with you. If you really die, I'll go back to Grandma. I won't go with him. His father's not my father. Have you no conscience? Isn't your brother taking care of you all these years. I didn't beg him to do that. He was willing to. Don't make mom angry after I leave. Behave. You hear me? Do you have to? Mom, give me back my cards. You're leaving us alone? No. I just want to continue my life there. One, two, three, four, go! If the world is fickle when you're in front of me It's enough for me to go back in time to prove forever The blanks in my life are filled with wishes for you My heart only beats for you, oh baby, baby <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hey, I got an idea. What do you say we go to karaoke after work? Great idea! Jen Jen, let's go together. I'm not going. You two can have fun. I won't bother you. You can take your boyfriend with you, okay? 
No. I'll just wait for my brother. Oh my. You are really childhood sweethearts. He just came back not long before and now you're talking about him all the time. Wow, what the heck? Don't you feel embarrassed, huh? You're not really brothers and sister. That's so ambiguous. Chen Chen, doesn't your boyfriend mind that? What are you talking about? They grew up together since childhood. They have great relationships. Come on. The emotions of these unrelated brothers and sisters can't be so pure. You better go make me a cup of coffee now. Go, go, go. Look at him. All nonsense. All right. Don't take it seriously. He's so mean. Your singing is terrible. It's out of tune. I'm home. That's early. It's just four. You're cooking already? <laughs> it's been a long time since we had dumplings, so we'll have dumplings tonight. You're like a mother. Did Ling Xiao get off the plane? I don't know. Well, why don't you call him? I can't reach him. Maybe his phone is broken. Don't be mad like that. Beat him when he's back. You can do that. I'll skip it. Sorry, the subscriber you're calling is out of coverage area. Please try later. Sorry, the subscriber you're calling is out of coverage area. Please try later. Maybe the flight is just delayed. Uh, how about we start to eat first? It's not delayed. I've checked it. What if he got late for the flight? Jenjin. <gasps> Ling Xiao! Back. He's, He's back. back! He's here! Ling Xiao! Is it back? Don't you know the password? Why don't you come in by yourself? Didn't you ask me before to learn from Ling Xiao to ring the doorbell or not? Huh? Where is he? Not back yet. Still not back? What's going on? We can't contact him by any means. Zucho, uh -huh. do you have his number in Singapore? No. All right, just go and see Jen Jen. She's been waiting since five. Huh? He'd better not come back, bastard. What? You don't want him to come back? And you said he's a bastard? In your eyes, only senior Zhuang Bei is the best. His mother still won your money when you were playing Mahjong. What the? Nothing has happened yet and you're already defending him? I can't even scold him. I think Ling Xiao might be late for the flight. That's just normal. Probably it's because of the weather. Or that he lost something. There are many reasons. It's not the end of the world, and there are many flights. Hmm. Exactly. There's one tomorrow morning. Sleep early tonight. We'll go home early tomorrow and pray at 8 a.m. What about dinner? No, thanks. I just want to eat pear tarts. I will go buy you some. No need. Ling Xiao said there was a great pear tart shop near his school and he would buy for me. I 
just want to eat that now. Dad and I are having a good life. I haven't become rich yet, Mom. But maybe I will be one soon. I will keep working hard. <laughs> By the way, Dad is still single. I want him to find another mate. If you're not happy about that, just tell me in my dream. Don't talk nonsense. Shh. Anyway, we're all doing well. Don't worry. from England. I majored in dessert abroad, and now I'm running a cafe. It's running well, aunt. I hope that you will bless my business. Well, don't worry. I will take very good care of Chan Chan and dad. All right, that's good. Ling Xiao will make this up after he comes back. Dad, are the people from our hometown coming? Yes, they're coming here. Even our old neighbors. They will visit our restaurant first. Also, I booked eight tables in Bai Shangju. Then that means our two aunts will be here too? Huh? Right. As long as there's an event, they'll always come to add trouble. Jin Jin, don't say that. They should come here. Why is aunt also here? Annoying. My headaches. <sighs> Don't just talk. Have some food. Are you food. <laughs> Sister, <laughs> looking good. Have some more seeds, huh? Thank you, brother. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. thanks. Thank you. Oh, I had never seen such a beautiful woman like your mother in our small fishing village. She was like a fairy. I was wondering, how can she be in love with your dad, Lee? But later, she just left with your dad's money. Hey, have you found your mother? Oh, uh, no. That's right. Don't bother to find her. She just left you alone when you were a kid. She will be so shameless if she comes back and let you take care of her now. Sucho, don't be conscienceless. Always take good care of your dad. Oh, I know, Aunt. Don't worry. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, uh, um, not yet. Hey, how about Jan Jan? It's good to marry into the bride's family. You know each other well. <laughs> She was really <laughs> ugly when she was a kid, but now she has changed a lot, right? Hey, aunt, how could I be ugly? Oh, not ugly, just dark-skinned. When you first came into this world, you were really as dark as coal. <laughs> but she looks not so dark in photos. You can't tell that from the photos. <laughs> Jen, Jen your grand-aunt is calling you. <laughs> hello, grand-aunt. Oh, hello, Jen, Jen. Hello, aunt and uncle. Oh, let me look at you. Look, our Jen Jen has become a big girl. Look. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jen Jen, which brother of you is him? He's my younger brother, Se Cho. Didn't your younger brother recognize his own father? I heard he has a rich family and they were having a lawsuit. Why did they let him go? Come on, tell us what happened. Give me more. Thank you. He is not close to his family. That's right. Then your father's love for him is not in vain. Right, it's right. Not in vain. <laughs> Where's your elder brother? What elder brother? You know the son of the neighbor upstairs. He grew up in Hai Chao's home, remember? He even cares about his neighbor's issues? Yes, Hai Chao is a nice man. <laughs> Jen Jen, uh, yes? your father is a good man. For you, he doesn't even want to have another wife. <laughs> so, you have to show filial respect for him, huh? And get married and have a baby soon to make your dad happy. <laughs> That's up to fate. That's sure. up to fate. I can't decide well, it. I'm not so sure. Grandma's about that. here. I'll go see her. Grandma! I miss you so much. You haven't come to see me for two months. 
Come on, have a seat. Here. Aunt. Yes. Huh? Where is Xiao Xiao? Why didn't she come? Too crowded here. She may cause trouble. Don't say that. It'll be lively. <laughs> oh, look how time flies. It's been 21 years since your mother left us. Mm. Your mother used to be a really proud woman. So many people liked her, but she only chose your father. She said he was kind. Your grandpa disagreed, saying that only a kind guy was not enough. He had just had a small restaurant and worked so hard. <laughs> Your grandma defended your father and said moral quality matters the most. <laughs> your mom was right, dear. Mm. Yes, she was. No one is as good as him now. He's kind to everyone except himself. <laughs> <sighs> Jen Jen, if I may say, you have to persuade your father to find a wife. Otherwise, after you get married, you will surely be left alone. Poor him. That's right. Grandma, aunt. Have some tea. Zucho, have a seat. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Zucho, oh. I want to tell you something. Sure. Do you remember my little Zhao Zhao? Uh huh, yes, of course. My hey, Zhao Zhao is. Aunt, doesn't Zhao Zhao have a boyfriend now? Oh, please, I don't like him. <laughs> Grandma, you have a good eye, and you've seen that boy. How is he? They are all good. Zucho is good, too. That kid is not bad as well. <laughs> Save it. He is so poor that even the windows of his house have leaks. Oh. Oh, uh, Grandma, well, I will go get some food. Grandma, I'll go see my dad. Aunt, uh, enjoy. Uh, have fun. Look at you. It's not my fault. Oh. Dad is looking for you. We're eating at Bai Shangju. Why are you hiding here? Smiling makes my face stiff. I need fresh air. Endure it. It's just one day. I'm fine. You need to take care. It's on Hu Yang's death anniversary. Why did both of your aunts want to introduce girls to me? What's wrong with them? I remember <laughs> that. They used to hate me because I always sponged off here. Now you're a goose which can lay golden eggs in their eyes. They used to hate you so much, but now you're much more popular. Then I'm just a gander if I'm a goose. You want to bite? I shouldn't. <laughs> I licked it. My saliva's on it. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine with it. Mm. Thank you. I wonder if Ling Xiao can come back today. Your car is here. There. Over there. Uncle, be careful on the way back. All right. Get in. Watch your head. Be careful. Jen Jen? Yes? Take your brother to our place when you're free. Okay. Okay, okay. Sure. See you, Aunt. Bye. Bye. Drive slowly. See you, Hai Chao. Bye. Okay. Uh, hey, wait. Take See care. Okay. Bye. It. <sighs> Did everyone leave? Your eldest uncle's still here. They say it's hard for them to come to the city. They will take the kids to the park. <laughs> They're not staying in my room, right? What are you saying? I booked a room in the hotel for them. But you need to take the kids to the park to go and play. <laughs> huh? That's settled. I Chi -chi, don't want Pong -pong. to. I Come don't... here. Uh, uh, your aunt has agreed. I, Look, I, she's so I, happy. Uh, here. <laughs> Look. Don't catch me. Wow, you're already playing tag. Go catch, catch her. Oh. Run faster. Ask her to buy you some snacks. <laughs> oh, right. Well, our restaurant will be open tomorrow. I'm going back to clean with Dad. Yes, that's right. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Dad. Enjoy your time. Take care of the kids, okay? You... Uh, where, where are we going? Amusement park. Let's go. All right. Let's go. <laughs>
Your mom's ashes ascend to sea. Can she receive this if we burn it here? Yes. Dad said the rivers, seas, as well as all bodies of water, are connected. Why are you drinking it? We need to spill three glasses of that. I know, I know. I taste it for my mom first. I'll drink with her later. Hey, let me try. I've never done that. <laughs> How is it? It tastes so bad. That's how life tastes like. Don't show off your depth. It's true. Dadling said that in the joys and sorrows of life, joys come before the sorrows. That means that in the long river of life, there will be many joys first, followed by many sorrows later. Wine tastes like the sorrows. Only adults can drink it. And only adults know it. But the sorrows have the same color as the water. That's why it's confusing. Look at this. It's transparent. It looks normal, looks like water. But when you drink it, the pungency can make you cry. Don't vomit, Li Jen Jen. Tell me if you want to vomit. Oh, oh, let go, let go, your grip is tight. Shao doesn't come back, you still have me. <laughs> the smell of wine is strong. Why didn't you stop her? I thought she didn't drink too much. Besides, who knew that the wine is that strong? She'll drink anything if you let her. She'll even drink poison if you give her that. H hey! Huh? What are you doing? You can go back now. I can take care of her. Oh, I'll get a towel to clean her face and feet. Huh? How old are you? Do you think you're still kids? Keep some distance. Uh, uh, then, then I'm leaving. Sure, go ahead. Um... Huh? Is Lang Xiao still out of touch? Yes. That's mm. weird. Why doesn't he contact me? If he doesn't contact me, why would he contact you? I'm different from you. What do you mean? You should go to sleep. Go sleep. That sounds now. like a story. What do you mean? Go to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Lee Jen Jen, can you face me? <laughs> Lee Jen Jen, <laughs> take off your clothes first. Your relatives have left. Hmm. Most of them. The rest are sleeping in the hotel. <sighs> I really admire you. You can even handle such a big event alone. <sighs> it's the hometown tradition. A big feast for the number one. And it's been 21 years. Just one time. I'll drink with you. Why? Can you drink today? 
I asked for a day off, especially for today. Hmm. Uh. Cheers. You know, you know, time flies so fast. Huying is gone for 21 years. Life has been really tough and muddled through. <laughs> it's not too bad. But after the party today, and the atmosphere cooled down, I feel empty in mind. We've known each other for almost 20 years. Our kids were this small before, and now they're all grown up. <laughs> we're all so old now. We used to work day and night, and those sleepless nights were nothing to us. But now, we can't do that anymore. You're right. You're getting on in years. Take it easy, huh? Mm. If you really get sick, it'll cause trouble for Ling Xiao. Mm -hmm. He's been going through hardships for years. You know what? I feel that I shouldn't have allowed Ling Xiao to study in Singapore. It's no use now. <sighs> it's all in the past. Hey. What did Ling Xiao tell you when he called you on the phone this afternoon? Huh. He said... He was late for his flight today. Oh. And then entire day was wasted for him to transfer. His phone is broken. And that's why he borrowed a stranger's phone at the airport to call me. After I heard that, I knew he was telling lies. That Chen Ting, she must have messed with him. Maybe she was the one who broke his phone. You know what? I really want to call Chen Ting to ask her. I want to ask her why she ignored our son before, but now she insists on keeping him by her side. <sighs> hey, it might be Ling Xiao. He's back. Oh. Dad. You're back. Hey, come in. <laughs> Dad Lee. Your shoes. Hey, have you... Already talked to her? It's settled. <laughs> Have a seat. I'll make you some noodles, huh? Dad, uh, no need. I've had food on the plane. Let me mourn for Mom Lee. Is it late now? No, it's not late. As long as it's before 12. Hurry. When did Jen Jen and Su Cho leave? Well, Jen Jen had been patiently waiting for you at the gate of our neighborhood for the whole day until she went to burn the paper. I guess they went home right after they finished. Oh no. Uh, you asked me to tell Jen Jen that you would come back tonight, but I was too busy, I forgot. Huh? Then Jen Jen doesn't know Ling Xiao would come back tonight? I didn't tell her because I forgot. You... Dad, Lee, Dad, I have to go now. I have work tomorrow. Hey, hey, uh, be careful on the way, huh? Okay. Take care and don't act too rashly. Okay. Okay? Mind your steps, okay? How can I be so forgetful? You better leave now. Is there anything you can keep in mind? Hey, I asked for a leave at work. Come on, let me have a drink. What drink? Don't hey. you feel ashamed with what you hey. did? You didn't even remember this important thing and you let Jen Jen wait for him. She's been waiting for days like crazy.
Morning. that. <laughs> Lee Jin Jin, come and have breakfast. Hurry up. Ling Xiao. Even if there was no non-stop flight and it took you a day to transfer, you still should have called us. I borrowed someone's phone at the airport. I called Su Cho and Chen Chen. No one answered. Huh. The number was from the special administrative region. I thought it was a fraud, so I didn't answer. You guys are so stupid. <coughs> Mingya said her mother asked her to go home for a few days. Really? No wonder I saw her sad just of now. Of course. She moved out because she wants to leave the control of her mom. Her legs will tremble when she goes home. Ling Xiao came back last night and... She left early in the morning. She might not know he's back. Yes, you're right. <laughs> While Mingya is away, let's interview your brother. Sir, how long have you been craving for the beautiful and virtuous Mingya? Tell us, please. <laughs> craving? Though being ambiguous is good, having an official relationship is even happier. Uh, well, Mingya has shown her affection, so you should seize the opportunity. Ambiguous? Wait a minute. She's shown affection? But she told me she wouldn't make it public for now. You know that Mingya likes Ling Xiao too? Yes, for a long time. <laughs> I just want to make it clear to her that I like someone else. The one you like isn't Mingya? Huh? Not her? Wait, you said you like a girl of a lower grade in high school, right? <gasps> oh my goodness!
笑了，岁月让我们在中间相逢。家的。